How's it going everybody? CJ here. Back with another video. We got another first thoughts today. This one is on Asika, God of the Tree, slash the Prismatic Bridge. Before we hop into that, Kickstarter. Let's get these play mats. Buy them. Do it. So we can hit the goal. Woo! Also, if you want to support the channel, you can support it through our Patreon, which is linked down below. And if you want to buy any of the cards I talk about in this video, buy them through the link down below, the TCG Player Affiliate link, and it helps out the channel as well. And we are going to hop into this. So, Asika got of the tree slash the prismatic bridge. So, I don't think anyone's going to play this deck as Asika got of the tree. It's just mana dork and turns your legendary creatures into mana dorks. So you can do mana dork tribal. I don't think that's going to be played that way. I This is going to be a five color prismatic bridge deck every time. Like, I don't think anyone's going to be playing Asika. It's always going to be the prismatic bridge. And it's understandable because that card is sweet. It's just like you can do five color good stuff. Just load up on really good creatures, really good planeswalkers, throw in a lot of ramp, throw in some control, and you're set. Just ramp into the bridge and just start flipping into good stuff. It seems like it's going to be a really fun deck. Like This is, this is a deck that you can just kind of make with good commander ramp cards and whatever you have in your bulk binders that's just big and splashy. And then just go nuts from there. I like this. I like this a lot. It's very open ended. It's a very cool deck, and we're gonna hop into this. So the first thing we want to talk about is special cards. That I think will work very well in the deck. Well, specifically with the Prismatic Bridge trigger. So it's an upkeep trigger, so you can put in um, Paradox Haze, Haze to double the trigger. Basically, gives you two upkeeps. You can also use Things of the Second Sun to get an upkeep at the end of your turn. So you also end up with everything untapped, but you also, so at the beginning of turn, you get to flip something in. End of turn, you also get to flip something in. So that seems pretty sweet. You can also throw in Stronic Resonator and Lithoform Engine to copy the trigger, so that way you get an extra thing in. And you're going to have a lot of mana after you play it, because you're going to be ramping hard to get into it. And so it seems worthwhile. Like, you're going to have the mana to dump into it, to dump into copying it. And next up, I want to talk about top deck manipulation. So that way you can kind of pick and choose what you actually put into play. So you can throw in stuff like Scroll Rack, recently reprinted. Probably one of the best cards for this. Sensei's Divining Top, great card. Brainstorm, another fantastic card. Cavalier of Gales, same thing as Brainstorm. You got Aminatu, you got Seer and Visions, Preordain and Ponder. You can throw an Omen of the, Omen of the Sea. Crystal Ball, Noxious Revival, bring something from your graveyard to the top of your library. You can even use tutors that tutor stuff to the top of your library, like Limdu's Vault, Enlightened Tutor, Worldly Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, and Mystical Tutor. Except I uh, Mystical Tutor you won't really use for this, I guess, actually. That's probably a really bad choice. Enlightened Tutor, you can get an artifact creature up to the top or an enchantment creature. And Worldly and Vampiric and Lim du Lim Duels can hit either creature or planeswalker very easily. And so if you're running all the top deck manipulation, you can also just run like Genesis Ultimatum because you know it's on top of the library. You can set it up so it's huge stuff, Genesis Ultimatum, and just drop everything into play. Throw in your net just to hit some odd CMC stuff into play and draw cards. And the miracle cards like uh, Reforge the Soul, uh, Temporal Mastery, any of those. Uh, the white one that is a board wipe. I can't remember what the name is. Any of those seem very good in this deck. And so yeah. Next I'm going to talk about some of the bombs that you can drop in this deck. Because you, this deck, is, the key to this deck is just going to be what creatures and what stuff you put into it to make it just splashy. So you can throw in stuff like the Eldrazi Titans, Ulamog, Kozilek, and Emrakul. You can toss in Avenger of Zendikar, make a ton of tokens, because you're already going to be ramping very hard. Uh, you got Itali Primal Storm, which is just a lot of fun. Zakama, just dump your mana into Zakama. He can kind of do a ton of different things, he's just very good. Nyx Bloom Ancient, more mana. You can throw in Golos, so that way you also have the mana sink of Golos so that you can spin. And he's also very good at the top deck manipulation stuff. Void Winner, just disgusting. You can throw in Progenitus, because that seems very fun. Terracidon is good remo removal. You can throw all the Praetors in, like Shieldred. You've got Jenga Taxis. You've got Vornclex. And you've got Elish Norn. 
and then there's the red one, which I forget the name of, but he's not very good. Oh my god, what's his name? I always forget the red one. Urbrask, Urbrask. I always forget the red one's name. You can throw in Avacyn, uh, just to protect your board state. Same thing with uh, Archetype of Endurance, so that way you have Indestructible and Hexproof on everything. Maelstrom Archangel, just makes it so you can dump stuff for free. Seems good, because you're going to be dumping... You, this whole deck's about dumping huge things into play for free. Bloodsteel Colossus, because who doesn't like a little impact? Blazing Archon, just another very good protections card for yourself. And you can throw in, like, the Primordial, like, Diluvian Primordial. Seems really sweet in the deck. That's the only Primordial I really care about. I think the black one's decent, and the white one's Swords to Plowshares, and I don't remember the other ones. Oh, the green one you can't play, because it's illegal. It's too good. And what's the other color? <laughs> Maybe I named them. I don't know. The red one. I don't know what that one does. But yeah. Those are some of the cool creature bombs. It's like just creatures that would be very good in the deck. Very splashy. These the, these cards are stuff that you can sub in with whatever you have really. Like you can just dump in all the big stuff that you have in your binder. And then as you progress, you can trade for some cards to upgrade slots and just improve the deck slowly. This is not a deck that you need like a strict list for. This is a very open-ended deck, which I think is really nice. Like anyone can build this deck with the same idea and the decks can be completely different. Like completely different. Like I can just go and build this deck out of stuff. If I pull this card, I'll probably just throw, to throw together this deck out of stuff in my binder and I'll just make it like big binder tribal like people can do this easily it's a it i like that it's so open-ended and then some of the cool planeswalkers you can throw in this like planeswalkers that'd be crazy to cheat in the play obviously you got ugin you got karn liberated you got the new tybalt which i'm pretty positive you can actually flip into because it is a creature so that means a trigger will stop on it when it hits it as a creature and then I think you can put into play the the flip side if you want to. So I think that works. And if it doesn't work, please comment down below and let me know. But I'm pretty sure it does. And if so, it's sweet. Uh, the Nico Bolas. There's a ton of really good Nico Bolas. You got Dragon God. You got Pla Nico Bolas Planeswalker. God Pharaoh. Uh, the Deceiver. All these seem fantastic in the deck. You could just do like a <laughs> five color Super Friends deck with this pretty easily if you wanted to. There's Garrick Apex Predator, which is just big, just nutty. Chandra Awakened Inferno, make some emblems. You got Garrick Cursed Huntsman, another good Planeswalker just to toss in. Like, there's just a lot of really good Planeswalkers you can throw into here. Just basically anything. You can take the deck however you want. And yeah, that's everything I got for Asika God of the Tree slash the Prismatic Bridge. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, comment down below if you're going to build the Sika slash the Prismatic Bridge. And if you are, let me know which side you're going to build and how you're going to build it. Let me know if there's any cool stuff that I mentioned that you're using or if there's any cool stuff I didn't mention that you are using that like other people might want to know about. And don't forget about the Kickstarter. You know you want these cool play mats. Hop into that Kickstarter to get one. And I mean, I, I some of them are even signed, so you can get a signed play mat, which is fun. And if you're going to buy any of the cards to talk about, find through the TCG Player Affiliate link down below. Helps out the channel. And you can check us out on Patreon if you really want to support the channel. And if you do that, then you get to join us in Discord and stuff. It's a good time. You can get some signed cards. It's, it's fun. There's a lot of stuff that you can get from the Patreon. So become a patron. Yeah. And we will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.